ozone layer above Antarctica has recovered so much, it's actually stopped many worrying changes in the Southern Hemisphere's atmosphere. If you're looking for someone to thank, try the world at large. A new study suggests the Montreal Protocol, the 1987 agreement to stop producing ozone-depleting substances, could be responsible for pausing or even reversing some troubling changes in air currents around the Southern Hemisphere. Swirling towards our planet's poles at high altitude are fast air currents known as jet streams. Before the turn of the century, ozone depletion had been driving the southern jet stream further south than usual. This ended up changing rainfall patterns and potentially ocean currents as well. Then, a decade or so after the protocol was signed, that migration suddenly stopped. Was it a coincidence? Using a range of models and computer simulations, researchers have now shown this pause in movement was not driven by natural shifts in the wind alone. Instead, only changes in the ozone could explain why the creep of the jet stream had suddenly stopped. In other words, the impact of the Montreal Protocol appears to have paused or even slightly reversed the southern migration of the jet stream. And for once, that's actually good news. In Australia, for instance, Changes to the jet stream have increased the risk of drought by pushing rain away from coastal areas. If the trend does reverse, those rains might return. The weather bands that bring our cold fronts have been narrowing towards the South Pole, and that's why Southern Australia has experienced decreased rainfall over the last 30 years or so, says Ian Ray, organic chemist from the University of Melbourne, who was not involved in the study. The Montreal Protocol is proof that if we take global and immediate action, we can help pause or even reverse some of the damage we've started.